What's up everybody? Blue Gabe. If this is your first time checking out my channel, I do all kinds of catch, clean, and cooks. I mean, we've cooked everything you can think of from rats to plecos and fresh water, you name it, we cook it. In most of my videos, I start out doing the catching process and then the cleaning and then the cooking. Today, we're gonna start off with the cooking, except for we're not cooking, we're making the world's best ceviche, just like the title said. And we're doing it with these yellowtails that we caught today, and I will show you how we caught them. So yellowtails, when you catch them, it is very smart to put them directly in an ice brine, which is ice water more or less, out of salt. You add salt or use salt water. Get them really cold really fast because they can get mushy in a hurry. Just that simple. Too. Yeah. To clean one, all you do is leave just a teeny, teeny dab of meat just to hold on to. Now, a lot of people tell me to flay it, flip the flay over, and skin it. I can do that just as good. I just don't choose to. It's just not my style of cleaning. I like to do it this way. Now, when I'm making a ceviche, I cut every ounce of that bloodline out, just like that, to where all I have is good, clean, white meat. And then I take this bloodline and I feed my fish and all my aquariums. Now, we're going to make a steamed fish out of the bigger yellowtail, so I'm not going to clean him right now for the ceviche because we caught three and that's all the meat out of the two that I cleaned, which is more than enough. So in this bowl right here, I squeeze, one of our fans sent this to us and I absolutely love it. I squeezed a couple limes already. Do one more just to show you. It has a lime side and a lemon side. Always use fresh ingredients if you can. Now, if you're somewhere where you can't get any fresh lemons or limes, do what you gotta do. I wanna add just a couple of these oranges. And I'll go ahead and squeeze that by hand. Mm. I'm gonna add the other chunk of orange later. So, I take my plays just like this, it's pretty simple. And for those of y'all that aren't into ceviche or any of y'all that are watching this right now that's, I don't want ceviche that's nasty, I'm not eating it, it's gross. That was me until I learned how to make proper ceviche. I grew up going to, to the Bahamas and the ladies over there that I always used to get it from, they just made it so bland that it just wasn't my cup of tea. Now a lot of people like it like that better, but to me and everybody that I've served this ceviche too, including some awesome Bahamian women that are well known for making ceviche, like it much better. I'm just cutting it in like cubes, little cubes. I don't want it too big and I don't want it too small. I want you to know that you got a piece of fish in your mouth when you bite into it. When we were fishing today, we weren't even planning on filming, but we always take cameras in case something happens. We started out catching live bait like we always do. We caught some sardines in about 20 foot of water, where if you watch my girlfriend Kelly Young's channel, that's exactly where she filmed the Bonita Catch, Clean, and Cook. All right, so all of my fish that we're gonna use for this dish is in the lemon, the lime, and the little bit of orange juice. And while this sits here and soaks that juice in for a little bit, I'm gonna go take you right now fishing and show you just some of the highlights, just some of the fish that we caught today. I'm not gonna explain how we caught them. Let's just go watch us catch some fish. First fish of the day. Let's see what you got, Jake. It's a fighter. Probably a decent sized mango. Oh, 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 I see something like that. Trigger. trigger. You sure do know how to catch some trigger fish, boy. While Jake is dehooking his trigger fish, we got Abram, aka Tarzan, hooked up to fish number two. Mangrove. Nice. 
Dinner. There you go. Yep. There you go. That's nice fish. That's a keeper right there. It's a big one. Yeah. Ooh, big dolphin. So triggerfish here in Atlantic waters, federal, got to be 12 inches to the fork. So Jake's gonna go ahead and measure that trigger fish. I think it's legal. And Abram just another nice mangrove. Another stud mangrove. He's twelve. Golden. Yeah. Throw that baby in the well. He's twelve. That one throw in the cooler so it don't bite us. Oh yeah. man! What you doing back here? I think you might have a mutton. There's mutton. Mutton are world's biggest mangrove. I kind of hope it's the world's biggest mangrove. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Fighting like a jack or something. Oh no. Oh, no. We're in about 72 feet of water. She's got like a 30 foot leader on. <gasps> See color. Under the boat. Oh, <gasps> nice. Thank Beautiful. Abram. Abram came here today to catch a mutton. Ooh, nice technique there. Hey, we're living. <laughs> Abram, is it hot up there? Yeah. Jake? Yes. Look, I see color. What you got though? Nothing crazy big, but definitely a good fish. Aren't you glad I taught you how to mutton fish like this with the long leaders? Long leaders work well because guess what? We got a mutton. New guy. Are you fishing in the nursery or what? Yeah, I like baby muttons. All right, we need to pop his little bladder and get Ooh, back to girl. fishing. There you go. I know. Friend, much harder than all the mangroves I've caught. World's biggest mangrove. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Mangrove. You got a mutton? No, but hopefully oh. it is. Could be a small mutton or a big mangrove. Ah, uh, Jack. Oh no. Wah, wah, wah. The infamous blue runner. Guys, we've had turtles all around us. Dolphins. It's finally a beautiful, flat, non-windy day. And we're out here catching muttons. Some nice mangroves. Look at that bad boy. Oh, I see color. Oh, oh it's cold. Pink is ah. cold. <laughs> oh. Okay. Where is it? There he is. Nice. Another short, but I'll take it. Short, but it's still a mutton. Look at this honker. What? Wow, that's a flag. Look at that big old yellow tail. Beautiful. Oh. Hey. Whoa. Jake's got a mangrove up front. Tarzan's got a kingfish on. Yeet. Good job. Look at him. That's a nice sandwich right there. Look or die, baby. Yeah, go ahead and make the whole boat bloody. We're definitely going to have to break out the pressure washer now. Okay, we're in the yellowtail now. Nice one. Jake, what you got over here? Yellowtail. Yellowtail snapper. All right, so if you're wondering who the little boy with long hair is, come here, Abram. Around this way. This is our good friend, Abram. What's up? He's the man when it comes to young man catch, clean, and cooks. He has an Instagram. What's it called? Fish Like Tarzan. He goes and catches, cleans, and cooks fish all over the place for his family and is an awesome little boy. He's been in some of my other videos. He's the same age as Jake, who's right over there staring at his brand new favorite rod that he just got <laughs> from Favorite for his birthday, which we will show you all in a minute. So the boys all had fun. That was actually Abram's first mutton. Yeah. We're going to take him back out, though, and catch some whoppers. So the stuff's been marinating for about five minutes. I'm gonna add about a half cup of onions. 
Now these are tomatoes, but they're not big tomatoes. They're little sweet cherry tomatoes. This, this is what makes my ceviche, in my opinion, the best in the world. These are mangoes grown in my parents' yard in Jupiter, Florida. And they're, we just got home from Jamaica and we tried mangoes all over that island. They don't even touch these mangoes. Mama's, mama's mangoes. Yeah, these are mama's. They're not stringy at all and they're the sweetest you'll ever eat. You can see the creaminess. Oh man, these are avocados that I just cut up. They're a little brown because we had to take the thumbnail that y'all saw, which made you click on this video, but they're still great. And let's stir this all up. I'm telling you, Kelly really, really got me into eating ceviche. I've, I've been around it my whole life, just traveling to the islands. It's funny because I've yet to do a Bahama video, and in my entire life, I bet you, I don't, a couple hundred times, I've been to the Bahamas by boat because we only live 60 miles away. And then in the last two years of filming YouTube, I haven't been one time. But that's about to change. Now the avocados are really, really ripe, so they're gonna almost liquefy in there. And just add that awesome avocado flavor. I almost dare you to make this, because if you do, you're gonna be like, Blue Gabe, that's the best thing you've ever told us to make. Mm -hmm. And what kind of other fish can you use? You can, you can do this with bluegills, shrimp, clams, lobster. The only thing I wouldn't do it is red meat and then again, I've seen people do it with deer heart. Like you can do this dish with anything. You can go to the store and buy shrimp, fish, salmon, like whatever you want, you can do it with. I saw someone do a swordfish. This is some high end fancy dancy sea salt that Kelly Young, she said, or <gasps> which actually I just spilt it because it was obviously a little supposed to use your fingers. It got a little bit sticky in there. So that looks like a lot, but it's actually probably the perfect amount. <laughs> that's, that was almost a party foul, but it turned out to be the correct amount. I mean, you can do this with like, I would cook the blue crab meat, but it would be amazing. You could do it with crawfish. I mean, anything you can imagine. It would look a lot more appealing without the avocado, and I don't always add it, but when I can get them fresh, definitely. You serve this at a party, your friends are going to show up a lot more often. Shove it all in there and tell me what you think. That is the world's best ceviche. <laughs> like legit, you guys, yeah. you just saw it. Mango, tomatoes. Onions, avocados. If you're gonna use mangoes, go to the grocery store or pick them in your yard, but make sure they're really, really ripe. If they're a stringy mango, cut them up even smaller than I did. Get some good fresh oranges, fresh lemons, fresh limes, and fresh fish or shrimp or whatever you wanna use. I promise you that dish right there is as easy as anything you will ever make and is as fresh and as good as anything you'll ever taste. Mm. Your turn. Let me introduce you guys my girlfriend Kelly Young who also has an awesome YouTube channel who is a ceviche extremist. I, I can live off of it. Oh yeah. This is my dinner tonight. Jake, come over here and show them your new rod and reel. Now that came with your name on it, but I think it was meant for me. No, no it's not. No, no, it's mine now. Even if it was yours, it's Are you going to try the ceviche? No. no. I don't eat ceviche, <laughs> but if it was fish dip. It's, fit, it's technically fish dip. Basically, it kind it's of ceviche dip. Oh, real quick, let's show them outside. Remember that kingfish you saw me catch? Voila! I smoke it for like four hours and make the world's best fish dip as well. 
So most of my videos are like 25 minutes long. I don't think this one's going to be that long. I'll know when I get done editing it. But thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Make sure you check out my girlfriend's channel and go back if this is your first time watching me and check out. I got hundreds of awesome cooking videos. But right now it's time to get the heck up out of here. Like Jake always says, get the heck out of shape.